Hey, what's going on guys? Luis here and welcome to episode 13 of 5 Tech You Never Knew Existed, the show where we always talk about new and upcoming tech. If this is your first time watching, uh, then go ahead and check the links in the description down below for previous episodes. And if you guys like the show, definitely make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any future episodes. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this week's top five tech. So first, let's talk about the Cast, an entertainment hub that brings all of your devices and live streams into one place. So when I started reading about it first, it kind of reminded me of the Google Chromecast, but it actually does a couple of things differently. So the Cast is more meant to share content with people around you. So you can basically broadcast anything from one device into another device that is in a different room. So for example, if you're watching a football game and you want to send it to your dad who's in the living room or in the kitchen, you can basically do that. So that's a pretty cool feature. And you can obviously expect anything from Spotify to YouTube to be on this thing. And I don't know, it sounds like a really cool idea that doesn't exist yet. Next on the list is the Pulse, a device that allows you to control your DSLR from your smartphone. Now, obviously there are already a lot of ways to do this, but this one is a little bit more advanced. It lets you do all kinds of different things like change the ISO, the shutter speed, and the aperture. And it basically works by plugging directly into your camera and then it connects to your phone via Bluetooth. You can basically preview pictures before you take them. You can save them to your phone's library. You can trigger remotely. You can take time lapses, do all kinds of different things. And it's just a great tool for anyone who likes photography in general. And it's coming out in April of 2016. Next, let's talk about the AnyLink, a charging cable that connects almost any two devices, no matter what kind or brand they are. So the idea behind it is that instead of having to go out and buy a bunch of proprietary expensive adapters, you can just have the AnyLink and connect almost any two devices from one end to the other. It's essentially every kind of cable all bundled up together in one tip. So inside of the USB cable, there's a micro USB, and inside of that, there is a micro USB type C, and inside of that, there's a lightning cable, so on and so forth. I honestly don't know how no one has come up with that idea yet. It's so simple and it saves a lot of money to everyone who obviously hates to spend 40 or $50 on a bunch of adapters, which I'm pretty sure is just about anyone. Next up is the Pi Top Seed, a $99 desktop that is based on the Raspberry Pi framework. So a few weeks ago, I talked about the Raspberry Pi uh, laptop, which is also based on the same framework. And now the desktop version has come out for even less money. So technically this is called a modular desktop, which means that you can have all kinds of different hardware choices that you may want. Uh, right off the bat, it comes with a 13.3 inch screen. It's plug and play, compatible with almost any keyboard and mouse. But probably the most interesting feature is that it comes with a Raspberry Pi OS that is completely built from the ground up. Honestly, I can see this being pretty successful with students, especially engineering students, and also communities that don't have a lot of resources since it's so cheap to manufacture. And finally, let's talk about the Echo Box, a high definition Android music player that is specifically made for audio listening. So I'm sure that most people, including you and me, uh, use their phones every day to listen to music and are fine with the quality as it is. But most people don't realize that the DAC or digital to analog audio converter that is inside of our phones is average at best in most cases. The Echo Box has a higher end DAC, a much better amp, a 9.2 millimeter driver, and it runs on Android 4.2. It's also made out of wood on the outside and it has a pretty respectable 3600 milliamp hour battery. And uh, it might be a hassle to carry an extra device for music listening, but it's obviously gonna be much better quality than your smartphone. And that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching again. If you enjoyed the series, make sure to subscribe down below and follow me on Twitter, link in the description so you don't miss any future updates. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece of tech was this week. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next one.